ever is on the piano on this track is just mad at the world. They decided to grab a keyboard, just go off. Dude, just listen to this. What that beat though? Okay, okay. That's enough. That that's enough. Sony man, Sony man, you did it. You got me in here sweating, jamming to these tunes, man. Hey, for those of you who get it, that's probably all you need to see and hear, right? But for those of you who came to see some infotainment, welcome to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host Antoine. Ain't ain't no thing as too much bass Richardson, because today we are checking this one out. This is the Sony Alt Field 7. Look, this is it. Let's just look at it, man. Just, just get a good look. This is the Alt Field 7. Now, it is supposed to replace this one right here, all right? It is replacing the XG500, which is my favorite beach speaker. Me and the wife take this feature, a uh, speaker, speaker with us every time we go to the beach. Love it, but it has a replacement. <sighs> And because it's so big, because it's so powerful, because it has so much bass, people would want to ask, well, how does it stand up to the competition, which is the JBL Boombox 3? Well, I don't wanna spoil nothing for you, but I do have a new favorite beach speaker to take with us. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, people always bring up this thing right here, which is a hardcore champ, okay? This thing is solid, but, we need to talk about the new kid in town, which is the Alt Field 7, man. Check it out, man. Look at this. Look at that. All right. So it is a little bit wider than the um, than the XG500 because it has these flanges right here. Now, if you go like from radiator to radiator, it is the same width as the Boombox 3 and the XG500, but these flanges, which actually create a space for uh, handles. And so it can stand on its side and still have that radiator pumping that pressure and sound out. You can, uh, you can just stand it up just like this, man. But because of those flanges, it is a little bit taller or wider. And that is, to me, that's a huge selling point, man, because you gotta have a handle for a speaker this big. And now I got one, two, three, four of them, and I can stand it up vertically, which I ain't gonna never be mad at. In fact, last night at the house, we played it vertically. But as far as aesthetic goes, I am here for this, man. Ugh, I didn't, when I saw the pictures, I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it. So I had to see it in real life and I'm here for it. Uh, the reason why I wasn't, uh, it, man, these speakers. The reason why I wasn't completely sold is because I fell in love with the design of the XG500, but Sony went back to the lab, redesigned it, and this is what we're getting, and I freaking love it. You gotta see this thing in person, man. It's a solid speaker. Now, it weighs about 14 pounds, like 13.9, right? So it is a, a nice girthy, heavy speaker, and hence the four handles you got here. But because of that, you also have the base, okay? The base. And that's mainly gonna be coming from that right there. Sony is giving you not one, but two low pass modes or low frequency modes, which is Alt 1 and Alt 2, which we'll get into in a few moments. I got some other stuff to talk about. Hey, IP67 rated, right? We know that's water and dust protection, but what you know about rust proof, bro? People be taking their speakers to the beach. I just told you I take my speakers to the beach. Sony has told me that this is a rust proof speaker because, you know, they take their speakers to the beach too, obviously. And I, apparently one of them might have rusted out. So they was like, we got to fix that. So we got water and dust and rust proofness. OK, I don't think there's a rating for that, <laughs> but Sony just leveled up the game a bit. But come in here, man. Check this out. I want you, I want to show you this. Let me turn this around so you can see it. All right, so we got the button layout here, which is massive. I love having a big button layout because it's a big speaker. You're kind of doing stuff. You might have a drink in your hand or, you know, whatever, right? So you ain't got time to be searching for no little bitty buttons that you can't even see. You got your big power button right there, Bluetooth button. You got your uh, play and pause, and then you got your plus and minus, and then you got the alt button. It has two modes. You press it once. Actually, this is alt two. I just put it in alt two. So that's off. That's Alt-1, and that's Alt-2. So Alt-1 is gonna bring you deeper bass than you're already getting with this thing off, okay? It's, it's, it's a solid sound with the thing off. But once you hit Alt-1, it gives it a much deeper bass. But once you go into Alt-2, it's just, it's just more pressure, more thump. It's just like, 
<laughs> you just hear it just bouncing off the walls. It is nuts, man. Even outside, it's incredible. Um, so that's what the two, we'll, we'll call them base modes, okay? That's what the two base modes do, but they're alt modes because you're getting ultimate base. But now let's open up that speaker booty and take a look inside, man. You got all kinds of stuff. You got your light control there. You got a battery and then you got the battery care mode that you can toggle on and off, I guess. Then you got your key control because yes, this can be used as a guitar amp and you can plug in a microphone if you want to into here, that 6.2. You got your gain right there and then you got your echo and your key controls and then you got your 3.5 millimeter aux input right there, USB and of course your AC input for power now as far as uh usb-c input i don't know i don't know battery tech so apparently you know you got to have either you know like a ac or dc brick or something like that they have taken away the charging brick and you just have the the ac cable that just goes in and there so at least you know we're minimizing things that you need to travel with now you just have an ac core that you can just plug in but let's seal that back up so we can water and rust and dust proof it again and then get back to the business Let's take a look inside of the app. As you can see right there, you got LDAC. My battery is at 100% and it says group with speakers. Now, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that we don't have a physical button to actually group these with other speakers, but you still get to do it at least. So hopefully they've just optimized it to work a little better than it used to, as far as like the quickness and seamlessness of it. But when you get in here, you go into settings and then you go into sound. You see, I'm on Alt 2, man. When I first played it for you, I was in Alt 1. So we'll put it back there because we got to do a little sound test. And then if you want to do a custom EQ, you got to turn all that off. Or let's just go into custom, actually. Uh, custom. And then we'll go into custom. And you see that? You see all this right here? Look at all this. This is a seven band EQ. Now, this is new for Sony by way of the, uh, the portable Bluetooth speakers. They usually give you three. Man, we got seven now. So that's pretty awesome. If you don't like the way this thing sounds or you need to tweak it a little bit, just go off in there, tweak it up. But for me, I really, really, really like the way it sounds in Alt 1 and Alt 2. Uh, let's go, we got the DJ effects from all the karaoke stuff that you can do with it. And of course you got light control. Let's go in here, man, let's look at this. So right now we got cool, you can see that it says it's cool. Then we got rave, it'll change up a little bit. Uh, where is it at? Oh, it's okay, there it is, there's the rave. And then we got, uh, let's do, let's do hot. Get some more color change, oh, that's hot. And then, you know what, calm daylight. It's gonna give us like a, almost a blue hue and fresh oh i like that green that green is hot you know what let's leave it at green I, I like the green man but you know that's pretty much the app experience sony doesn't deliver it like a, a huge app in-depth experience with their speakers that's usually reserved for the headphones because with a bluetooth speaker its primary job is to just play some music right so why don't we just get into that but before we do man i want to emphasize something versatility all right this thing is it's a wide speaker and it's got these four grab handles here but look at this man you got rubber padding right here so once you stand it up on its side and even bump it into something once you stand it up on its side it's just there and it's not gonna rattle and stuff and it's made to play this way this isn't the primary way to play it okay but this is like a, a way that you can actually play it so if you want to play it like this you're gonna be fine you got rubber on the bottom here on these little on these little flat surfaces right here where it stands up you got rubber right there you got rubber on the outskirts of it right there and then you lay it down uh horizontally and then you can just get your thump on that way i really do really really appreciate the design of this speaker it looks like sony actually put a lot of thought into this but now i'm thinking you might want to hear how this thing really sounds so let's go outside and have a little bit of fun